Hey everyone, it's the set here and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will be notified on when I upload. I am super excited for this video because McCart just released a new collection. This one is Birds of Paradise and can I just say every time they come out with a new collection, it just gets me so happy. The packaging is super cute. Um, so it comes with a gel nail extension kit. We have six gel nail polish set and then a nail decor set, a nail decoration set. So I, like I said, I am here for the packaging. Packaging always gives you a little bit of more inspiration of what kind of theme you want it to go for. So I am ready to open it and show you guys what these look like. So the first thing is the six color gel nail polish set. And of course, automatically when I was thinking of the colors, I thought of bright and yes, they give you a lot of bright colors, a lot of pinks and those green colors just to also fall back on that Birds of Paradise theme. So this is what they look like and I am going to be showing you each and every single one. I'm not gonna swatch it because for me that just takes a little longer. <laughs> this first color is called Tanager and this color is so freaking pretty. It's so bright, like that bright hot pink. All of the names of this gel collection is named after birds, which I thought was really cute. This second one is called Macaw, and once again, this color is just so pretty. Next up is Madarin, and once again, y'all, this is a really pretty light pink color. Next up is Peach Face, and when you think of Peach Face, you automatically think of peach, but no, this is a really pale, light green color. Super, super pretty. From there, the next color is Peacock. Once again, this is a dark green, but like I said, super pretty. I'm so loving all of the colors so far in this kit. I really, really like it. After that, last color we have is Toucan. And Toucan is this really bright pink color, different from the other pink, but super, super pretty. Um, so I am not going to do anything in this video with this gel collection, but I did want to. I honestly just totally forgot it was off to the side, but I am going to definitely do another video using these colors. Onto the nail decoration set. Right when you open it, you get a whole bunch of little glitters. You get like this little sticker pack. My glitter pack ended up having a whole bunch of the little sequins all over. I don't know if it opens it. It opened by mistake. Um, but everything in this kit is so freaking cute. Loving all the glitters. You get like these larger stones. You get these smaller crystals, like the light pink, green, and yellow crystals. Um, you get these little, those paper um, decor pieces, like the leaves, I see like a little a flamingo in their flowers and these little feathers. Uh, and then next you get this pack of stickers. These stickers are, I think there are three of them. Yeah, there's, so there's three stickers. There's actually four and each one is different. So this collection really gives you a good amount of variety of what kind of designs you want to do. So this one has like feathers in it. Two of them has feathers as well as one with the peacock. And this one has like a whole bunch of little just like green and red ones. It has like love all over it. And then this one has black and green feathered um, peacock as well as I think that's like a swans. Um, and then these are black and white feathers. Next kit is the four color gel nail extension kit. And the colors that are in this kit are so pretty like I, hands down favorite um so they give you their 100 180 grit hand file a brush and the spatula you get your top coat your base coat and then four gel colors um poly gel colors that i will swatch in a sec for you guys you get your dual forms and with this dual form you do get two different shapes um they give you a curve and then a straight dual form so you'll be able to choose which one you would prefer at that moment on top of that they give you um some stickers they give you two sheets of stickers which is exactly the same as the other stickers in the decor set and they give you the same stones as well as the metal leaf 
I mean the metal feather ones that's in the other kit as well this is what the four colored poly gels look like so from left to right we have eggshell cockatoo flamingo and then creature so i am super excited about these colors they are so pretty and bright so i am ready to get straight into showing you the nail design that i came up with so for this set i was going to do it on myself but i didn't have time to remove my nails so i am going to go in and do it on this practice hand this practice hand is from the red iguana you can find it on her website and i already prepped the nail beds and added my tips so i'm gonna go in with that first color which is that pink and i'm just going to add that to the bottom half each of these nails i decided i wanted to do some kind of ombre i knew i wanted to have have it super bright and just like a lot of color all over it so each one is going to have an ombre to it but just a little bit different but once I apply that first layer I do cure it and then I go in with that light greenish blue color and I lay that on top blending it downwards and then flash curing it in place and then moving on to the next nail and when I flash cure, I only flash cure for about 30 seconds. It's not a long time. Once you flash cure it, it cures super fast. Um, towards the end is when I go back in and I do a final cure for 60 seconds just to make sure everything is fully cured. So I did forget, I did go in and add the glitter from the decor set. So I didn't flash cure it yet. I put some of this glitter down the blue towards the top and then the pink on the bottom and that's when I flash cured it in place when I was satisfied with the placement of these glitters. Moving on to the ring nail, I applied the color eggshell all over and then I cured it once again for 30 seconds. For this next nail, I decided I wanted to use three colors to do an ombre. So I started off with that cockatoo, no, I'm sorry, it's called eggshell, this one. I started off with this one at the tip. I cured it for the 30 seconds, and then I went in with that orange, which is called, um, that's the one that's called cockatoo. I added that to that middle section. I blended it down cured it once again and then at the very top is when i added the flamingo color blending it downwards and it gave it a really nice um effect from the pink to the orange to the yellow i really really liked how this nail came out For this index nail, the pointer nail, I decided to go in once again do another ombre. Like I said, I wanted to do ombre across these entire nails um, just with a whole bunch of different colors. I just thought it would look better because since there were so many different colors, it for me, it just made sense to kind of keep the theme consistent with just an ombre. Um, so I applied this color, the pink, to the bottom half and then cured it. And then for the top half, we're going to go in with that orange color. Once again, blending it downwards to blend in to make an ombre and then curing it once again for 30 seconds. I decided to come back to the ring nail because I felt like there wasn't enough blue in this set. So I did go in and add a little bit more of that greenish blue color to the bottom half of this nail. And I was super satisfied that I did that. It just looks more cohesive and it, the nail doesn't look alone by itself like a solid color. But after I did this part to the bottom half, once again, I cured it for 30 seconds. 
From there, I decided to go in and add a little bit of clear gel because I wanted to add some of those little paper um, leaves and flowers that the decor kit came with. And you're going to see me just laying them on and just placing it, seeing how I thought it would fit nice. And I think this now came out super cute. From this, I did cure it and go in with some stickers just to add a little more depth to the nail just to give us a little bit of 3d action um and as you can see i did pull in some of those little red stickers as well as another little green leaf just to make it stick up and it just looks so cute I, this was a cute nail <laughs> For the index nail, once again, I just laid a couple more stickers. I threw in that little bird sticker. I thought it was super cute, but I really wanted it to be up in that side corner flowing down. So you are going to see me just grab a couple of stickers and just lay it however I thought it would look nice. But after I lay those stickers down, I am going to go in with some clear poly gel. This once again is by McCart, and this I got from one of their other kits. Um, and I just start encapsulating all of these nails. I am a big fan of encapsulating things. It's just what I do. Uh, but after I moved on to the next nail, I decided I wanted a little more glitter. So I did go ahead and add some um, that clear base coat and I just added some glitter and I just wanted something to just stick onto it really quick um, and, I, and then I just cured it and then I kept going on and encapsulating the nails. I did cure it for a full 60 seconds and then I just start cleaning the nails off with some alcohol and a lint free wipe. Now I'm going in with the 100 180 grit hand file and I'm just going down the side walls just to make it straight. I decided not to go over top because I am going to go in with the drill just because I thought it would be faster. But once again, like I said, I'm going through to those side walls and I'm actually going underneath as well because I did get a little bit of poly gel on the underneath side of some of these nails and I'm just cleaning it up, making sure it is straight. I'm going in with my fine taper drill bit and I'm going around that cuticle section. I'm going down the body of the nail as well just to really refine and perfect that shape. Um, I'm using this at 15,000 RPM. Like I said, I'm just making sure I'm perfecting that shape and just making that tip extra pointy. I want to be super, super pointy so I do focus more towards the bottom half. I did go and remove the dust from these nails and now I'm going to go in with this McCart rhinestone glue. This is hands down my favorite glue. I've always 
gravitate towards these i tried using other brands but i always end up back to mama cart <laughs> but this is where i start adding the larger stone the stone is so pretty i add smaller ones um i add that gold feather and i just start randomly placing it down the reason why i really like the mccart rhinestone glue as well is because you once you lay it down then you cure it so you it gives you time to move these stones around and lay them where you think it will look good um but like i said i just randomly lay them down to where it's like a little s and then i do a cure for 30 seconds from there this is the last step where i go in and use the mccart um, top coat I top coat all of these nails and I do a final cure for 60 seconds And this is the final look. I am super pleased with how this turns out at first I was a little worried with all of the colors, but they go so well together i just love how all the ombres just look it just looks great if you're interested in purchasing this birds of paradise collection i will leave the link below as well as a promo code for you guys let me know what you guys think of this set even this design as always, thank you everyone for taking time out to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media accounts. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.